Breaking news, Dr. Sebastian Gorka resigns from the Trump administration. Hello, folks. My name is Jen. I'm from Golden State Times. And today we have a breaking news story that comes courtesy of Breibart.com. And it says, Dr. Sebastian Gorka, who served as deputy assistant to President Donald Trump since January, resigned from the White House administration today, Friday evening. And he said, quote, given to recent events, it is clear to me that forces that do not support the MAGA promise are for now very well in the White House. That's what Gorka wrote on his resignation letter. As a result, the best and most effective way I can support you, Mr. President, is from outside the people's house. So that is a very, very alarming message directly to President Trump. On his resignation letter, folks, this is not something that he told, you know, a, a Breitbart or or anybody else. This is on his actual resignation letter directed to the president of the United States. He really needs to take a look at this, folks. This is crazy. It says sources within the administration close to Mr. Uh, Dr. Gorka claim that he became disillusioned because Trump's key policy platform of fighting radical Islamic terrorism was repeatedly, uh, repeatedly undermined with his national security advisor, H.R. McMaster, fired key individuals from the National Security Council where, uh, who were loyal to that platform. Gorka also became deeply frustrated with the unprecedented levels of personal abuse against uh, propagated against them by mainstream media, which included attacks against his own children, as well as numerous bureau- bureaucratic obstacles used to slow down his work on national security issues, including delaying Gorka's final uh, permanent national security clearance. It says a close uh, a source close to Dr. Gorka claimed that he had made decisions following the president's speech in which he indicated that he would escalate America's war on in Afghanistan. And he said, quote, the anti magas that's what he's calling it. The anti magas have control of Trump's foreign policy. OK, so that's what they were saying. So right now, folks, this is very crucial because one. We have also have word that uh, Cohen, the guy that's in charge of uh, uh, what Gary Cohen, I'm sorry, uh, Gary Cohen, is they're saying that he has drafted his resignation letter because a lot of people say that Gary Cohen lacks the experience to chair the Fed. Okay, so. We're going to keep on that and see what's going on with Cohen. But for now, we know that Sebastian Gorka has resigned from the Trump administration because he understands and he sees that anti-Trump forces are taking control of the White House. And he directed his resignation letter straight to the president and telling him the reason why he's leaving. Okay. Let me read that little part again because it's very, very crucial. He said, this is directed to the president. Mr. President, given recent events, it is clear to me that forces that do not support the Make America Great Again promise are, for now, attendant within the White House. Okay, so like I said, these are very eerie words, folks. And, you know, Mr. Gorka, he is the person that came out and said, you know what, I am going to make sure that I support the president. I'm going to make sure that the, the mainstream media knows that I support the president. I'm going to be his pit bull. That's, that's what he said once in, in an interview. I forgot with who it was. It was one of, with one of the prostitutes. But now he said, you know what, it's best if I help you. It's best if I serve the country outside of the people's house. Crazy stuff, folks. But let us know what you guys think in the comments section below. We also had some breaking news earlier. Uh, President Donald Trump pardoned Sheriff Joe, Sheriff Joe Arpaio, that was set to be um, that was set to be sentenced on on October the fifth, I believe, 
for six months in jail. He could have done six months in jail because of a um, a charge that he has a misdemeanor charge that he didn't obey a judge's order to stop his um, his crackdown on illegal immigration. Okay, in Maricopa County in Arizona. So if you guys haven't seen that, this should be coming up on your screen or in the link in the description below. Go and check it out. So let us know what you guys think about this, folks. Sebastian Gorka resigns. Gary Cohen is already drafting his resignation letter. President Donald Trump pardoned Sheriff Joe. Let us know what you guys think about all this stuff in the comment section below. And thank you very much for watching. If you guys like this report, please give it a thumbs up and share it on social media. Subscribe if you are new. Click the notification bell. And, uh, and let us know what you guys think about this. This is pretty crazy stuff, folks. And it's all happening. It's all coming down today, Friday night. And, um, and President Trump, right now, he said, he tweeted out saying, you know what? I'm keeping a close eye on Hurricane Harvey. We're making sure that all of uh, the federal support is there. We're the, the local support, uh, Governor uh, Greg Abbott came out saying, you know what? We need blankets. We need uh, money, we need uh, formula and diapers and all this a bunch, this bunch of stuff. So, you know, if you guys want to check that out, it should be coming up on your screen too. Thank you very much for watching. And my name is Jen. I'm from Golden State Times, and I'll see you soon. Peace.